With me is Josh Hadar, who creates these extraordinary pieces of art and moving vehicles. First off, how did you get into the bike building business? Uh, the true story is uh, I started welding about five years ago. And I took uh, a class in oxyacetylene blowtorching. One night, my wife and I are walking back from dinner and I find this huge dumpster full of old bicycles. And I drag these things back to my shop and I start cutting them up and just kind of made this, this crazy chopped out bike out of old bike parts. And I just thought people were going to laugh hysterically when I, when I rode this thing around. But actually, people were really loving it. It was, it was weird. So it kind of spurred me on to build another one. So, you know, I got into doing bikes and really never stopped. How do you balance aesthetics and practicality and physics? Well, that's, that's the art. I mean, that's the real um, challenge behind it all is, is to come up with these ideas and then, you know, make it workable. It's almost like, uh, you know, a painter being constricted by the size and the shape of his canvas. You know, that's his really only limitation. Or, you know, all of my pieces ride. They're all mechanically sound. So take us through the construction process. Let's say that I've come to you, I've seen you riding your sweet bike on the street, okay. and I say, I want a bike that looks like a Velociraptor. Okay. Where would we go from there? Um, for you? Yes. And, you're, and you'll be riding it? Okay. Yes. All of our bikes are built to your specifications, almost like you're having a custom-made suit made, or a dress, or whatever, a wedding gown, you know. We're gonna measure, first of all, you from here to here, for, you know, your, uh, basically your shin, your calf, uh, femur bone, measure your torso, measure the length of your arms, and then ask you what kind of riding style you want. Do you like being over the backbone and kind of aerodynamic? Do you like a more chopped out, lazy, Laid you know, back. kind of thing? Maybe you want ape hanger bars, you want them up here rather than down here. In addition to bending all this steel, you also create the hand-blown gas tanks. One of my goals is to always try and integrate new materials and new, you know, I'll call them technologies, you know, and, and mix metal with glass and wood and, you know, and, and other kind of organic materials. I did a series of uh, rib cage bikes. So the heart bikes kind of came from that, you know, the African safari and just kind of mimicking, you know, kind of a pride mentality and a pride kind of structure. Is it ever hard to let go of your creations given oh you spend God, so much yeah. time? Oh my God, yeah. I mean, that's the biggest thing is actually selling them. Um, and literally, you have a big pile of cash right there and, you know, the, and it's, you know, it's literally, it's like selling a child. I mean, you know, you, you, you bleed for your work. Building is physical. I mean, it's it's you know you're in here every day sweating it out, pounding it out. It's not you know you're not watching a, a machine kind of bend your pipes for you and then you weld them together. It's you know you're wearing equipment. You've got face masks and respirators and goggles and you're sweating like a pig under there. And it's just it's really hard work. What sort of physical toll does all this hand pulling and wrenching take on well, you? Well, I've got four herniated discs and stenosis in my back. Wow. I've been taking cortisone injections and, and uh, epidurals. And it's still, it's just still the most satisfying though, like that, knowing that literally you're bending steel yourself with your bare hands, you <laughs> know, the Superman, yeah, exactly.